Hi friends, welcome to Competitive Exams Material Channel. In this video, we will see how to print array elements or values in Java. Okay, we will see the different ways how to print the elements in okay elements in array in Java. So, printing array values in Java or values of array elements in Java would have been easier if arrows if arrays are allowed to directly print the values whenever it is used inside system dot out dot println. Suppose if we print the array by using system dot out dot println directly, it will not print the elements in the array. Let's see. I'm just creating one more package called arrays. And then here I'm creating a class print elements in array demo and just I'm writing a main method inside it here I'm creating a string str equals to I'm just giving some names like red green and blue okay suppose if i say system dot out dot print ln and str will it print the elements of this array red green blue no let's run the program and see the output if you see here it is printing java dot lang dot string at the rate 15 db 9742 we'll see what is this uh, java dot lang dot string at the rate and 159742 let's go to the object class okay in object class we have a two string method so whenever we call the system dot out dot print and string it will override i mean it will call the objects class two string method so it will call get class dot get name so when it is calling get class dot get name it prints okay java dot lang dot string why because the class name for this string is java dot lang dot string and next one is at the rate and next one is integer dot two hex string okay so it convert it gives the hash code integer dot two hex string hash code it prints the hash code one five nine db nine seven four two okay so we cannot print the elements of an array directly let's see the first way okay first way traditional way before 1.5 using for loop i am mentioning as yes, traditional way before 1.5 using for loop okay i am just saying for int i equal to 0 i less than or equal to i less than str dot length i plus plus and say system dot out dot print ln str of i let's run the program and see the output i'm just commenting the first line anyhow it is not printing anything run as java application so red green blue so this is the traditional way and the very old way of printing the elements in an okay java and uh, and if you are using array in method argument or array in prominent place in code and actually interested in values of array then you don't have much choice than looping the elements in our array until java 1.4 okay so since java 5 we have a different methods like arrays dot two string arrays dot deep two string which can print the values of an array first we have seen right how to print the elements of an array by using for loop okay so for loop is nothing but it's a classical way of printing or displaying the values of both one dimensional and multi-dimensional arrays in java so before java 5 okay we can use array dot length 
to iterate over all the array elements we can use array dot length to iterate over all the array elements and printing values for each of them so from java 5 onwards we can use much cleaner enhanced for loop okay what is the second method by using enhanced for loop enhanced for loop so by using this enhanced for loop we need not write all this code i, I equal to 0 i less than string dot length i plus plus just write simple for each this is before java 8 or i mean after java 5 enhanced for loop we call it as and just print the elements of this array system dot out dot print and string so i am saying it as using classic for loop and i am here i am saying using enhanced for loop using enhanced for loop let's run the program and see the output so using classic for loop okay red green blue using enhanced for loop red green blue okay so and one more thing is by using arrays dot as list method okay using arrays dot as list method we can convert array into array list and we know collection classes overrides two string method to print their contents what is the third method by using arrays dot as list method arrays dot as list method okay arrays dot as list method is used to convert array into array list and we know collection classes override two string method to print the contents so by converting array into list we can leverage that property and print values from array list instead of array okay instead of array we can print the values from the array list if we convert it to array list so how do we convert arrays dot as list just say system dot out dot print alarm. arrays dot as list okay and call str okay so just i'm adding this by using by using arrays dot as list method as list method okay let's run the program and see the output by using arrays dot as list red green blue so by using this we are converting array into array list and then printing the value why because collection over collection classes overrides two string method and what is the what is the main limitation of this approach so the main limitation of this approach is it does not print the contents of array if array is of primitive type like int float and double let's see suppose if we are uh, printing the elements of since it is string okay it's an object so that is the reason we are able to print the values suppose if we take integer comma primitives int int i okay equals to 1 comma 2 comma 3 okay already i is there i say int array okay and let's run the program and see the output by using arrays dot as list so here instead of string grieve int array okay and we can say this by using arrays dot as list int values i'm just giving the comment int values run the program and see the output 
so by using arrays dot as list int value so if you see here it is not printing anything if you are taking primitives okay so it works only with the objects arrays dot as list okay mm, this is the one example and let's see the another one this is the third one and what is the fourth method using arrays dot using arrays dot to string and arrays dot deep to string methods let's see what this arrays dot to string method does and arrays dot deep to string method does so this is the by i mean this is one of the far best and recommended way of printing values from an array in java so the only problem is that arrays dot to string and arrays dot deep to string are added from java 5 onwards okay along with the other features like generics varags or static imports so using arrays dot to string methods it prints both primitive and object and a singular one dimensional array and using arrays dot deep to string method it prints the values from two dimensional or multi dimensional array that means array of arrays in java so we use arrays dot to string method for what print the values of an normal array when do we use arrays dot deep to string if an array contains one more array and if we want to print the value of that array as well we use arrays dot deep to string method okay let's run the program and see the output arrays dot to string and here i am giving string array string array and here i am giving int array int int array okay just add the element Arrays dot to string. Sorry, not here. System dot out dot println. So just add a command saying by using by using to string method. Okay. and here by using to string method and by using to string method int values okay let's run the program and see the output if you see here by using to string method we are printing red green blue by using two string method int values red green blue so hope you understand right how are we using red i mean arrays dot two string method so by using arrays dot two string method we can print both primitive as well as object okay and let's see how to print okay how to use arrays dot deep two string that means how to print two dimensional or multi dimensional array okay let's take a program i mean let's try to create an array two dimensional array int 2d equals to new int new int new int 1 2 3 वन कामा टू कामा थ्री वन कामा टू कामा थ्री कामा एंड देन फाइव कामा सिक्स कामा सेवन सो इफ यू सी दिस एन एरे इनसाइड एन एरे ओके सो फर्स्ट एरे कंटेंट्स वन कामा टू कामा थ्री And second layer contains five comma six comma seven. So to print the value, I mean two dimensional values in an array, what we will do? We will use
arrays dot deep deep to string so in this deep to string what we need to take 2d let's run the program and see the output whether we are able to print the values of this 1 2 3 5 6 7 right we were able to print the values now by using deep string arrays dot deep to string we can print the values in an two dimensional array okay so this is also done and let's go to java 8 okay what is the other method by using java 8 we can print the values of our elements of an array so how do we do that so this is the fifth method so what is this fifth method by using streams okay by using streams in one dot eight also we can print the elements of an array okay so how do we print the elements of an array by using uh, streams let's see so what we need to say is just call arrays dot as list okay so here we need to give the array what is the string array which we are using str and call stream okay arrays dot as list by using on this arrays dot as list we can call the stream and on this stream method call for each call for each okay so and then print the value of s so, s dot system dot out dot how do we print s and then give system dot out dot print ln system dot out dot print ln of s and remove the semicolon here remove the semicolon here s and then and then there is an extra parenthesis over here closing remove that as well if you see it looks like this arrays dot as list and call stream method on that and on stream call for each okay and if you see just write one comment here saying what you will write the comment as using streams using streams so let's see the last method in the last method what we need to do is arrays dot stream okay earlier we called stream on which method as list method now directly called stream on arrays arrays class we have a stream method and pass our array what is our array string array str okay and call for each on this call for each and here just print a system dot out dot print ln system dot out dot system dot out and give double colon print ln okay so on streams call for each and print system dot out dot print ln answer red green blue okay using streams red green blue so these are the different ways by using which we can print the elements of an array in java five different methods thanks for watching this video 
so uh, I have created a telegram group if you are interested you can join that group I'll put that uh, link in the description okay